What's up everybody, Renfail here, and I got asked during the live stream yesterday if I could do a beginner's guide to the season pass in New World Eternum. And this one's going to be fun, because uh, I'm not intimately familiar with it, but I am going to give this a go. Um, for those of you who might know more than me, that's awesome. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything I missed, because there's a lot going on here beyond just... Obviously, the free track and premium track, uh, there's the bingo card system, which I think is really what people are wanting to know about and how to get the most out of that. So, I know a little, I don't know everything, and I'm going to give it a stab here. So, uh, follow along, like, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Daily streams at 9 a.m. Central, and we're playing a lot of New World right now as we lead up to um, Dragon Age Veilguard. So, uh, essentially, the way this works, the way to think about this is that Every game you play that is a free-to-play game, and this is bar none, is going to have a free-to-play version of the game where you can earn rewards by doing daily quests, and that's what this is. If you've ever played an online game before, the free season pass here, which is represented by this top line of like gray items, right now they're gray because um, those are the ones that I've earned, um, and it goes beyond there. Um, I'm up to level 10 now, and we're going into 11. Matter of fact, we're going to ding 11 here in a minute during this tutorial. Um, so if you're playing the free-to-play game, and you're doing the daily quest associated associated, excuse me, with the Season Pass, you will earn experience in the Season Pass, which is represented by that bar in the top right. And as you earn experience in the Season Pass, you will unlock these rewards, which have green check marks next to them, because I have unlocked them. If you are someone who really, really loves the game and you want to have access to more things more quickly and some additional perks, you can pay for a monthly subscription or a premium tier in this case and you get access to these things, which I don't have because I don't, I'm not going to be doing, at this point in time, I'm not going to be doing any of the paid stuff. Mostly because I'm not playing this game as a main game for more than just a month. It, this is really something I came in for two weeks. Now, if you've watched me play like Lord of the Rings Online or Star Wars Old Republic over the years, you know, or World of Warcraft, I have no problem paying a monthly subscription, and I do to many games that I play. Lord of the Rings Online and Star Wars Old Republic are the two that really jump out because I've played them a lot over the years. And I have an annual subscription right now to World of Warcraft. And in those cases... Because those games also do something similar. Um, when you pay a monthly subscription, it's not pay to win. It is pay to have convenience. Because you're getting things more quickly and at better rewards. So let's get that out of the way right out of the front. Because this is not pay to win. This is just, you really love the game. This is the only game you play and you want access to the perks more quickly. There's a lot of fun perks in here. So hopefully you will check it out. Now... How do you gain XP? That's the dailies we talk about. Well, how do you do the dailies? There's a few things you want to pay attention to here with the Season Pass. So, the first tab up at the top is the Journey tab. You comfortable, Pippin? Alright, sorry guys, my kitty cat, for those of you who know, she's down here. Um, there's the Journey tab, which is represented by the Chapters of the season pass now this game has been out on pc for a while and they've already had previous seasons currently we are in season six um, and season six has these challenges associated with them and as you complete challenges you will earn this amount of experience points towards your leveling up process but because the chapters have already happened you can also be uh, completing things in previous chapters previous seasons so in this case we're looking at chapter one i just completed the other day uh, expedition exploration rank one which means i completed three different expeditions now the moment you complete an objective on the journey tab you're going to get um, this ability right here which is you can come over here and turn something in and when you do you're going to be claiming some rewards and if you finish Chapter 1, you'll notice there is um, a bundle of recovery potions plus some seasonal XP. And there's a tab here that says, how does the season journey work? 
and you can open this up and it'll tell you complete chapters and challenges to earn season XP and claim rewards, complete an objective, claim its rewards, etc, etc. So I'm going to click this right here, and I'm going to claim it, and then it just pushed some XP up to that bar, and it dinged me to level 11, and then it says unclaimed rewards, seasons, crafting gift. So if we go back now, here, to this tab, you'll notice suddenly that we have moved into a new line of items here on the on the free tab um, because we went from the first 10 levels and now we're working our way through the next 10 levels and you'll notice here that because I dinged 11 I have this uh, uh, reward available to me it includes these items right so I can click that and it's going to give that to me and put it in my inventory which is cool so we just got a little reward for completing a journey uh, or complete in some objects on the journey and there's multiple chapters to this um so yeah anyway chapters let's go back um activity card i feel like this is where most people's questions are related to like how does this work so this is like a bingo card sort of it just says you have reached your wild stamp limit. Use a wild stamp and re-log to claim today's free wild stamp. So you get um, free wild stamps every day. What is a wild stamp? Well, essentially, if you look at this board, each one of these symbols represents an objective which is found over here on the activities side of things. Now, if you don't like the list of activities and you want to try to do something different there's a button here i can't move too much because i have a kitty cat in my lap right here where it says reset activities and it costs some azoth you can re-roll all of your activities if you don't like the ones that are presented here but essentially the way this works is if you scroll down through here you're going to see activities and each activity has an icon that represents what those activities uh, are so like for this one right here, you know, kill 10 enemies in the Eternal Pool, craft tier 5 weapon items, etc. What you're looking for here is, are, you're looking to complete objectives on this tab right here. And the thing is, is you can complete objectives in a variety of different ways. So, anytime you complete an objective, you're going to get a point that you can use to stamp one of the objectives you completed. So, if you complete an objective that has a skull, you could then stamp the skull card now i have i don't have any but i do have a shield objective it's flashing and telling me hey you could claim this if you want to also here hey you could claim this if you want to you could claim this if you want to the the leaf so what you're trying to do here is fill the card now you don't have to fill the card completely if you look on the far right it actually gives you a breakdown of what happens if you fill the card and you can actually hover over the how do the activities work here and it tells you Select a highlighted square to stamp the card and earn season XP. Stamp lines on the card to earn additional season XP. So every time you clear a line, you earn bonus XP. And lines are horizontal, vertical, and diagonal. Just like a bingo card. Complete enough stamps to finish a new card and you get a whole, or complete a full card and you get a whole bunch of XP. And then it automatically progresses you to the next um, card. Um, each new card comes with a free reroll, then you can pay Azoth to reroll, and they reset with each new card. Um, you obtain one stamp, one wild stamp daily, or by completing lines of four stamps on the activity card. So that's how you get the wild stamps. Now, wild stamps are fun, too, because essentially, you're looking to complete objectives here to earn the stamps that you can mark here. But the wild stamps are fun because if you use a wild stamp to complete a line, you earn the wild stamp back. Otherwise, if you just spend a wild stamp, I could come here and choose to place a wild stamp here. I don't have any objectives right now that have completed for the, the potion, but I could use a wild stamp to claim the potion slot even if I haven't completed any objectives on the activities list. Now, if I spend a wild card stamp here, I use it and it's gone. But if I use a wild stamp to complete a line, I get the wild stamp back. So what does that mean? Well, let's go here and say, because I have I have two I could do here. 
Um, we can actually do multiples, but let's see here. I could go here and say I'm gonna I'm gonna claim the shield. Quick commercial break, everyone, to celebrate and give thanks to all of these amazing people who keep me on the air full time. Really appreciate the support. All you got to do is join as a member. You get access to private videos. You can also do super thanks on any upload or super chats and stickers on any live stream or premiere you see. And beyond that, don't forget we're multi-streaming over on Twitch now, so you can support over there as well. Thanks so much to everybody. Let's get back to the video at hand. That's one. I'm going to claim the sword. That's another. I have wild stamps three of three. I'm gonna claim this one with a wild stamp. It didn't use my wild stamp. I still have three of three wild stamps left. And that's because I completed a line. Same thing's gonna happen here. I'm gonna claim this. Then I'm going to claim this with a wild stamp. It gave me my wild stamp back. So I still have three of three wild stamps. So if you're strategic in the placing and use of your wild stamps combined with the activities that you have, you can fill more lines while using your wild stamps. Now I have three wild stamps, but I have four things here if I wanted to finish this card. Now this is where things get tricky, because if I and this is an area where I'm not intimately familiar. I think if I use two wild stamps here, I'm not going to get one back. But let's just check here. Um, if I use one here and then one here... You don't get the wild stamp back because I used wild stamps to clear the whole line. But so you'll see it has three wild, uh, multiple wild stamps here. But I still have two left, so we're gonna go ahead and finish this card off. Okay. Oh no, I have. Uh, I, I did get a wild stamp back because I finished the lines. Never mind. Finish this off. We just finished the whole card. We just progressed to season level 12 got a whole bunch of XP now we have a brand new card and I still have three wild stamps which is really awesome now I don't have any of these objectives completed so I have no stamps that can currently be used I could choose to go burn my wild stamps but I'm not going to at the moment I'm gonna go forth and play the game and earn things now the way I usually do it is I play the game and every day at the end of my session I just look for the stamps that I've earned stamp them accordingly, burn up any wild stamps that I have, and come back the next day and continue it from there. I don't actively focus on doing this stuff, but if you want to, you can. There's a lot of stuff in here, and you can claim a lot of really cool rewards. You can also earn, like, transmog tokens and a whole bunch of stuff in here. So in this case, I'm getting some brilliant gems gifts. Once a, a, a gift is given to you, it goes into your inventory, like here. So it's a collection of every type of brilliant gem, which is very nice. And then we also got um, a season's crafting gift which with a bunch of crafting resources in it. So that is essentially a breakdown on how the season passes work, or how the season pass not passes, how the season pass works in New World Eternum. Um, again, I don't know if I am explaining this in perfect detail but that's how i understand it it's been working for me it's nice to get like cool rewards for doing the dailies and of course if i wanted to go whole hog on this game i would pay a subscription like i usually do with the games i play but i'm playing this as a single player rpg so i'm in and out in two weeks because i have dragon age the veil guard stalker 2 indiana jones the great circle i play a lot of games it's my day job so for me, this isn't like a main game that I'm playing, but if you are going whole hog on this, it's totally worth it if you want to pay a monthly sub or whatever to get the premium pass. It's up to you. That's it. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Daily streams here and on Twitch, 9 a.m. every day. And we play a lot of games, so we'll see you in the next one. Until then, stay safe, happy gaming, and I need more coffee because it's early. My throat is parched. See you, everybody.